My name is Alois Roof, and my wife, Estonia Roof, and we are proud to present today the Roof Rodeo. This is our new concept car this year. This was supposed to be shown in Geneva. It is the brainchild of my wife, Estonia. Can you please say a few words about it? The inspiration has been friends, years living in Oklahoma and Kansas, and the love of the off-road cars. Yes, and I met my wife in Oklahoma City. So I was introduced uh, to Western style and country style and uh, making an off-road version of one of our cars I thought would be uh, another destination that we should reach with four-wheel drive. It's Roof's first four-wheel drive version on the new chassis of the new CTR that we showed three years ago in Geneva. We presented the new line of roof cars and every year we're showing something new based on the monocoque carbon chassis uh, with a steel frame front and rear and row cage integrated, also made in lightweight steel. So uh, when you look at the details, you see uh, we uh, gave it a very special look here with the uh, roof rack here with some luggage. Of course, some of it probably in the driving will not be uh, of use, but it can be used as a traveling car. So if you want to go from coast to coast, or if you want to do the rally around the world, it's doable in this car. The looks of the car, we gave it some uh, golden color here, uh, which is also like the golden sand, if you want to say so. And we brought back from the reminiscent uh, car, the NATO car, the roof NATO car from the 1980s, which was quite famous. Uh, and it was our test mule and experimental car. And this is where the, the NATO olive drab olive color came from so we mixed that brought back some extra lights so we are good for the uh, the very dark areas uh, to be driving on, uh, with safety and um, as you can see also we have even a shovel there for the worst case scenario and the interior of the car is something that Estonia will explain to you well since we give the car gave the car the name Rodeo we wanted to bring some elements, some kind of a chapped leather with the saddle side packets on the car, giving the feeling of the Southwest uh, Navajo Indian feel. And yeah, we were having fun making this car. This is supposed to put a smile on your face. When you look at it, nothing is really foreign in about the car. It's just there are bits and pieces that you're familiar with when you sit in the cockpit. Well, from the technical side, uh, we are running it with a 500 horsepower, torquey, normal aspirated engine. But it can also be had with a turbo version, so either or. And uh, it has a, a six-speed gearbox for uh, four-wheel drive, and it has a, a control where you can adjust how much uh, a front wheel drive or rear wheel drive you want to have and uh, you can just turn by the knob you can uh, go flawlessly into a different mode 